apparently it's alternated between being summer and being autumn. Can't wait for winter though. Hello everyone! Surprised to see me? I know I am. This room hasn't changed one bit. Today we're doing something completely different. If this is going to be a little bit of an unusual video. I wanted to do something something special. But today we're gonna do something something else. I wanted to do something completely different. Unlike anything you've seen before. <laughs> we're doing an unpacking. Actual, genuine unpacking. I won't pull a 180 on you like I did in my unpacking clip, I promise. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Get played. Uh, as you can see, this parcel holds an item that is worth a whopping, uh, I don't know if you can see, it says $12, and that's where we're going to leave it at. Uh, check the description for details. Uh, and before we start, this video is sponsored to you by someone who's just been there. Uh, let me go get him real quick. This video is also sponsored by a mosquito that's flying into my room. Hey, here's Gully. Say hi. Say hi. Wow. Wow. I I'm I holding him weirdly. I'm sorry. Here he is. Wow. That, that's me meowing by the way. He's he's kinda shy. Hey. He's the cutest cat ever. Okay, okay, I will let you go. Go climb Mount Everest, my dude. Well, I suppose we should not waste any more time, like most YouTubers do. A lot of you guys that actually watch the content aren't actually subscribed to the channel, so if you're new to the channel, and if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do it, because it takes less than a second. So, let's just, uh, I blurred out the details because I don't want to be doxxed. That is the last thing I want in my Oh, so changing life. Oh, actually, that was pretty sweet. And there it is. Nice little PC. Okay, and here we are in uh, uh, back camera view, trademark. And this is the package, as you can see. It says in Intel inside, more like Incel inside, am I right? And EMMC flash, that's the storage. Get out of here, mosquito. So let's turn this around. As you can see, it comes with a handful of up, a handful of specifications. First of all, it's a Cherry Trail. Wow, what a creative name. That's the processor that's currently being used. It's an Atom processor. I don't know what that means. Take of the how you will. Operating system is Windows 10, but I will not use Windows 10 because, uh, as you can see, I'm not using Windows 10 here. Uh, back here, it also comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 30. No, actually it's 64 gigabytes of ROM, which is just storage essentially. We got a great internet, that's the higher value. Has Bluetooth and it's the... Wait, this one's a T5 model, it seems like. I thought it was a W5 Pro. It's okay, it doesn't matter. As long as it has these specifications, we're all good to go. But personally, can you focus? Thank you. This might as well be the, the Xiaomi Mi Stick Destroyer. This is definitely an NVIDIA Shield Pro Destroyer. Let's go ahead and open it up. Nice. And so let's see what we got. We got the base stick itself. Let me just uh, unravel that real quick. Alright, got it. Here it is. It does say W5 Pro. That's my that's my ideal. And there's this little thingy that you just remove and that's it. Uh, back here we got some stuff. We got the power button here. Uh, the I guess this is where the power goes. We got a USB 2.0 and a 3.0 port. So not a whole lot you can do with this. You also have uh, this SD card slot if you want to fill some other blanks in there. Uh, back here has nothing special, just a bunch of uh, declaration information. The package itself also contains a whole bunch of these. Uh, and there we go. It comes with an uh, with a free HDMI extender uh, for those situations when your HDMI is from another galaxy. <laughs> and of course, uh, no set is complete without a power adapter. And it also comes with a quick start guide which has all major languages aside from Slovene because no one speaks Slovene and that's really it and that's honestly all that you will need well aside from one of these bad boys and one of these bad boys but for that we will consult some alternative solutions but for now 
we will go ahead and give this an actual test. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy to test. Okay, and just a quick update to see how everything is going. So I got this bad boy plugged in. Uh, I used the HDMI extender because if I wanted to enjoy some films, I can just do... <clears throat> I could just plug in my hard drive here where this powerhouse of a USB stick is plugged in currently. And this is a keyboard which is currently underneath there. It's pretty nice. And you may notice that I plugged in, or I guess now you can notice that this is actually the mini PC. And there it actually was the Nintendo Switch cable, which I've taken over here. And you can see just how massive that bad boy is. Jesus. Oh yeah, and uh, I installed built Lineage OS from Source. I forgot to brag about that. Anyway, uh, and I also have a Nintendo Switch. And here uh, we're currently undergoing an installation of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I may have to tweak with internet for a little bit because I may need to install some firmware, but that shouldn't be too difficult. So if I can get this thing to work, that would be great. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once all of this is done. So while the installation is in progress, let's use some time and talk about what has happened in the past two years. So you might have not noticed, or maybe you did, but this here is actually my room from all those years of recording horrible YouTube videos. <clears throat> my name is Jeff. Of course I'm not fucking wondering. What do you mean? Here's a TV. Moscow, Truro, London, no. But, oh, but the kittens are so adorable, honestly. I, I really wish I had an actual... Uh, and yeah, that means I'm no longer in Slovenia, which is a shame, and it turns out that IT was not it. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm so genius. Clap everybody, clap. My sister actually found me a private university, and she's a younger one, so kudos to her. Anyway, I got a university in Bielina, I'm studying English, uh, hopefully to become a teacher, professor, whatever, perhaps translator as well. Or maybe even a bartender before I find the actual job, because, you know, you gotta get that XP. That was a cringe moment once again. I do have to say, uh, through all throughout those years in Slovenia, I have not been to Ljubljana. But that has changed this very year. I've actually been there twice, in March and July. Uh, in March I was on my own with a tourist agency, and in July I was with my dad on a, on a tour de Balkan in Montenegro, Croatia, and then Slovenia afterwards. I got an opportunity to touch some grass and socialize with the locals. <laughs> or Maybe just one local, uh, but it was still fun. Life's been pretty good overall. Once I finish university, I'm going to probably move out, for real. I'll be like 23 years old by then, Jesus. Okay, and the installation has in fact completed, and as you can see, the uh, OpenSUSE menu does pop up. However, I do am, I am concerned about the Windows Boot Manager still being on there, but I suppose you could probably find a way to remove it. Anyway, let's hit enter and see boot the boot up into this operating system okay and here it is it took about let's say about a minute it's not too it doesn't take too long i think my laptop would boot this much much slower but as you can see uh it does have bluetooth however it doesn't have wi-fi for some reason now it does have a wi-fi module as you've seen but it probably relies on proprietary software so i'm gonna have to <laughs> figure that one out uh, i don't have a mouse right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna postpone this video for a little bit I'm gonna go buy myself some actual tools to uh, get surfing on this bad boy. So, see you then. Okay, and after finally some time, uh, it looks like we have established a connection. Uh, don't mind the exclamation mark. The system thinks that maybe there isn't any connection, but rest assured, this has loaded up nice and swell. And as you can see, I got everything working. I bought myself this bad boy. It's a all-in-one solution. It has keys, all these bad boys, and uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Now, the problem is, however, that this doesn't actually have Wi-Fi on it. I don't know exactly how to put this, but thankfully I did have one of these bad boys laying around. I gotta keep saying that word <laughs> over and over again, it seems like. I got this adapter, which I was tr troubleshooting on my other device just a few days ago, or months ago. And this is, of course, the keyboard and mouse. So as you can see, I filled out every single port, and this is a problem, because... Without integrated Wi-Fi, this is going to have to happen. I'm going to have to invest in in the USB hub. So that's probably a complaint that I'm going to have to fire. <clears throat> the device itself is pretty nice. It's just... But I guess I'm giving it too much credit, credit for it being so small. Anyway, um, I suppose we can test a little bit 
how this whole thing goes. The mouse itself w works wonderfully well, as you can see. You can just kind of control everything. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly go to a different website. I've never taken a look at before, and that distribution is called Spyro Linux. Spyro Linux... Yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I fixed I fixed the codex, so they, everything should be playing fine now. Okay, so someone has also asked me, can I play Minecraft on this thing? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anyway, someone asked me um, if I could play Minecraft on this bad boy. And if you notice it, it's no longer there. But actually, it's right there. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't post this. Maybe my parents will find it and then ask me what the fuck this is all about. Anyway, and this is still loading, so I'll come back to you once this is over, and we'll see. Can it play Minecraft? Oh, by the way, do you like my background? I upscaled it like five times. Anyway, it looks like it's loading at the very least. Let me just uh, go and uh, go full window on this. Ooh, ah. All right, it looks like it loaded, and it, so far it, do, it does seem like it's a little stuttery. But again, you can't blame this game. It just really comes down to, you know, hardware. You're playing it on a tiny processor that parades as an x86 processor. Also, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to divert your attention to this particular error. It says here, okay, everything here is a correct, but here is this. Predevetimi minuto. It just doesn't make sense. Minuto, in this case, is used for one. So you say pred eno minuto. For dual, it will be predvema minutama. And then for nine and onwards, or three and onwards, it would be predevetimi minutami. Don't get smart with me, game. Anyway, uh, here is the game, actually. So I'm going to just set this to creative, because I'm not going to be playing... I'm not gonna be playing this game in with this goddamn thing. This is this makes no sense. Okay, it's been at least like two minutes, and finally uh, this has started to uh, draw itself out. Okay, we're still on the same location, but I'm shaking this thing, and as you can see, it's registering. But this computer isn't registering it. In fact. Not a single button works. So I like to think that the computer actually froze. Yikes. And the unit is getting quite hot, if I do say so myself. Ah, that's hot, said some guy on YouTube, I suppose. Okay, well, I guess there's your answer. You, I don't think this thing is even capable of playing Minecraft. And I guess I'm giving it too much credit once again, but I guess some people wanted to know if that's even a thing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Now, one thing I want, I do want to check is 4K playback. Now, this obviously isn't a 4K um, TV, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm not going to use YouTube or anything like that because, first of all, I don't use YouTube. And second of all, my internet is shit, so it's really not going to do any wonders. So... Uh, be right back. I'll have to download the video first. I got myself a video here. If I can just scroll over to it. There it is Okay, I got the file all up and running. It's time to open this up. So this is a 4k video Let's uh, let's give it a look Uh Hello. Uh, well, sorry about that. It looks like it doesn't like 4K. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't like 4K, and my camera is slowly dying out as well. Okay, well, it's not gonna play 4K, but it should be able to play anything else, right? Give me a second. Let me get something done. All right, let's go to the video. I got a couple of stuff here that I store. Uh, let's uh, let's, just, let's see some of my older YouTube videos. They shouldn't be too difficult to play, right? And look at that, first video that comes up, let's play it. Alright, you are about to experience this teenage 
young adult or something. Hear about the experience. A goddamn meltdown. Okay. Weirdo stuff. Okay. So the video is stuttering, as you may have noticed. Maybe the video is just not the great of greatest quality. I don't know. Uh, so you may notice that the lights are on. That's because it's nighttime. Hey there. Uh, and that's not what I had in mind. Get lost. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I had plenty of time to eat, sleep, shit, travel in the future, and get rid of one of Russia's sanctions. They have a lot of them for some reason. Uh, I've actually done a uh, done an update, a system update. It had like 2,000 packages that I needed to upgrade. This is a pretty old ISO after all. So the thing that I want to try so badly right now, uh, let me check the time. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Ah, Slovenia, my beloved. So this is a portal called 365 or 30 as it is called in Slovenian, and it actually won an award. It's a first, first. The fuck did I click? Oh, uh, me studente. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is uh, copy copyrighted. I can't play this. Uh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let me just get the actual content. Okay, so this is supposed to be a stream of Radio Television Slovenia, the first program, and currently it's playing this, which isn't copyrighted. Well, it is, but you can still watch it. Uh, everything here is all rights reserved and that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and play this. Oh my god, it's a, it's an advertisement. Are you serious? Are you taking the YouTube approach to things? Radio, television, Slovenia. We need volume. All right. Shama, where are you, where are you from? Okay, I'm not gonna joke around. She does speak very good. Let's let's double click and go full screen. So I don't know what resolution this is. So I'm just gonna move around and head over to settings. Nasta bitve. And currently it's playing automatic, but it's a 1080p. So it actually does play it pretty well. Yeah, this actually works pretty well. It's much better than on my PC anyway. I mean, not PC. PC is a fucking beast. I mean, on my laptop. This isn't too bad. I don't know why, why they had so much trouble doing the whole thing. Maybe the thing got overheated. Maybe there's thermal throttle or whatever the fuck they used to call this kind of thing nowadays. But it works. Now, the only thing I want to check as well, which I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to risk... Uh, copyright infringement notices is to check if I can uh, geo geo bypass and watch actual content on this TV but uh, as it stands it looks pretty good anyway I'm gonna pause this for a moment so yeah um, there you go I don't have anything else to say to be honest uh, I tried 4k maybe maybe it's actually able to do 4k stuff but this is something that I have to check also why do you have two Facebook links in your Google Chrome. How do I know it's Chrome? Well, because everybody uses it, that's why. Do you want benchmarks? You can probably find those. Just look up the processor that you've seen at the very beginning of the video. You may be able to find Geekbench scores or whatever. That's not something I'm into. I'm using it as a home theater setup. And it works, as it turns out. I was just, I don't know, maybe needed some time to cool off. I mean, it is a small PC, and the fan is supposedly quiet, although you can still hear it. Well, maybe not you yourself, but I can hear it perfectly fine. So, do I recommend this? Do I recommend you to buy the W5 Pro Pocket PC Mini? Or, you know, this mini PC that we just reviewed, would I recommend? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a home theater setup, I think 4 gigabytes might be a little overkill. But to be honest, the Xiaomi Mi Stick only has like 1 or maybe even 2 gigabytes. But that's not enough in my opinion. And it also comes with 32 gigabytes of storage. This one comes with 64 at the very least. And even then, you can just use a hard drive, external hard drive. You plug it into your PC and that's where your films are. But if you're looking for a gaming rig, well, a gaming rig 
should be a desktop PC. Look into those instead. And yeah, uh, that's about it really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And sorry that I don't upload so often. I just don't go onto YouTube so much. I'm pretty sure Google wants to know what those books in there are. You know what? Let me show you what the books are if you're so curious. Here, let me show you. First, I got a dictionary. I bought it a few days ago. Uh, it's an English-Serbian dictionary. My other one uh, fell into pieces, okay? Uh, next up, we have uh, crossword puzzles in Slovenian. I have solved not even a half of them. Then I have 100 teaching tips because I'm going to be a teacher soon. I got this from university. I got from university this thick-ass book. It's English language teaching because I'm going to be a teacher. Isn't that valuable information? I'm sure you're willing to recommend me some te more teaching material. How about this book that I just got? It's a, th it's a thick book. At least in comparison to these books, which I also have. These are the same books, but if I were to put them side by side, you will see that it's mm, a little thicker uh, than the B2 book that you see there. Uh, overall, it's a really thick book. I'm not excited what this year has to offer. Over there, you got underwear. I put that on. I have a t-shirt. You can also put that on. You got some more stuff over there. I'll clean the bed, mom. Don't worry. Whew. Sorry, I went on a tangent there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, as always, um, see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay guys, I'm gonna go and stop World War III. We are so fucking close to it.